एक्यूट रेट्रोवायरल सिंड्रोम और ए आर एस सिम्टम्स एक्यूट रेट्रोवायरल सिंड्रोम और ए आर एस इज द इनिशियल एक्यूट स्टेज ऑफ एन एच आई वी इन्फेक्शन ए आर एस सिम्टम्स हुई रिजम्बल इन्फ्लुएंजा सिम्टम्स एपियर विद इन सेवरल वेक्स ऑफ एक्सपोजर टू द वायरस एंड यूजली लस्ट फ्रॉम ए फ्यू डेज टू ए फ्यू वेक्स एच आई वी इज अ वायरस डेट एफेक्ट्स द इम्यून सिस्टम एंड प्रोग्रेस थ्रू थ्री स्टेजेस आफ्टर एक्सपोजर टू एच आई वी ए पर्सन मे डेवलप वेरियस सिम्टम्स डेट रिजम्बल दोज ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंजा और द फ्लू दिस सिम्टम्स इंडिकेट द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ एच आई वी इन्फेक्शन हुच इज कॉल्ड ए आर एस ड्यूरिंग द इनिशियल acute phase of hiv infection the virus levels are high because the individual's immune system cannot yet mount a response and fight the infection some individuals with ars are asymptomatic or experience only mild symptoms therefore if an individual thinks that they have come into contact with hiv they should seek medical advice immediately even if they have no symptoms if an individual tests positive for hiv they can begin highly effective treatment modern hiv medicines allow people to have a near normal life expectancy this video explores ars in more detail it looks at the timeline of hiv infections potential symptoms what is ars when someone contracts hiv they experience different infection stages ars or acute hiv infection is the first of these stages it happens as the body begins to mount a natural immune response against the infection the symptoms of ars are similar to those of the flu such as fever headaches and body aches and they may disappear on their own with no treatment currently there is no cure for hiv although there are medications that can help individuals living with hiv remain healthy when do ars symptoms usually start ars begins about 2 to 6 weeks following transmission of hiv not everyone with hiv will have ars symptoms this occur in 25 to 90% of people who have recently contracted the virus even though ARS symptoms disappear or may not be present in some cases it is essential to remember that the person is still hiv positive and that the infection can pass from them to others in the early stage of hiv infection an individual will have extremely high viral levels making transmission more likely some research has shown that the acute phase of hiv infections accounts for up to 50% of disease transmission what are the symptoms ars symptoms often resemble those of the flu or other viral infections although some individuals have no symptoms at all up to 75% of people will not experience ars symptoms those who do may have the following symptoms which can last for several weeks fever fatigue mouth ulcers skin rash muscle and joint pain unintentional weight loss headaches enlarged lymph nodes sore throat diarrhea these symptoms are non specific which means that other infections and illnesses can also cause them however if a person has had exposure to hiv and has these symptoms they should have an hiv test as soon as they can 
Timeline of HIV Symptoms HIV infection naturally progresses through three stages. However, it is important to note that if an individual receives treatment, this progression can slow down to stop altogether. HIV treatment has now advanced to the extent that HIV does not progress to stage 3 in most people. Stage 1 ARS This early stage occurs several weeks after contracting the virus. Someone with the infection has high levels of HIV in their body and the chance of transmission is high. The natural immune response to the HIV infection causes flu-like symptoms in some individuals. Some infected people may have no symptoms or only very mild symptoms. If someone has ARS symptoms and thinks that they may have had exposure to HIV, they should seek medical advice and testing. The person will need an antigen, antibody test or nucleic acid test to confirm acute infection. Stage 2 Chronic HIV Infection At this stage, the infection becomes chronic rather than acute. Doctors may call this stage asymptomatic HIV infection or clinical latency. The HIV remains active but the virus does not reproduce quickly. Some individuals have no symptoms during this stage. If an individual takes HIV medication, this stage may last for a decade or longer, although it can progress more quickly in some cases. HIV can transmit to other people during this stage. At the end of this stage, the HIV levels in the blood increase and immune cells called CD4 cells decrease. As the virus increases and the immune system gradually fails, the condition progresses to stage 3. In some people, especially those who take HIV medicine as prescribed, HIV will not progress to stage 3. Stage 3 A AIDS or AIDS AIDS is the most severe phase of HIV infection. A person with AIDS has an extensively damaged immune system that cannot protect them from pathogens or germs. As a result, they develop severe illnesses. People with AIDS may have extremely high levels of HIV in the blood and there is a strong possibility of transmission. Without treatment, a person with AIDS typically li lives for about 3 years.